Crypto.com is kicking off the new year by buffing their crypto earn rewards for members, which means that you can earn even more passive income on your crypto through staking in app. So in today's video, we are going to break down how to make the most of these new buff rewards, as well as the positive implications this has for Crowcoin. Now, before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor, nor do I offer any sort of financial advice on YouTube. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do find the videos informative and entertaining, please consider hitting that sub and like button and turn that notification bell on so you can be notified when all of our latest videos go live. So with that, we're going to hop into today's content and I want to talk about Crypto.com, more specifically their Crypto Earn program, which they have just buffed for the new year. So as announced on their Twitter, you can earn up to 12% per annum on certain coins. They offer 20 plus cryptos and stable coins and private members enjoy an additional 2% per annum on this yield. So let's get into this a little bit more in depth and show you exactly what this means here for your app assets on crypto.com and as always it is worth mentioning that if you are staking with any centralized exchange there is risk involved so do your own research but uh, what i'm going to do today is run you through exactly what crypto earn is how it helps you earn additional yield and how to actually make the most of this yield because it is broken down into three different tiers and you do want to be aware of this kind of tiered system to make the most of your assets so as you can see right here on their on their uh, web page earn up to 5% on Bitcoin, up to 5.5% on ETH, and up to 4% on USDC. And they actually have a very handy calculator here to show you exactly what you would be earning based on the amount of crow you have locked up in the app and more. So for example, here we can take a look at some of these yields. You can actually earn up to 6% on your crow coin, up to 5.5% on ETH, up to 5% on Bitcoin. However, if you actually have less than 4,000 USD worth of crow staked in the app this does drop off here to four percent on crow eth and bitcoin respectively if you have uh, anywhere from four thousand to forty thousand usd worth of crow locked up on the app that is how you get that five and a half percent and five percent on ether and bitcoin respectively and if you have fifty thousand or more crow locked up that is when you get some additional yield on stable coins so the actual amount that you earn is kind of tiered, first of all, based on the amount of crow that you have staked in the app here. So definitely nice to note that if the crypto earn program is incentivizing enough that people may opt to actually lock up their crow on the app to get these rates. Additionally, the crow lockup for the visa does also count for the crypto earn lockup, just something to keep in mind. So in more detail, how does crypto earn work? Well, if you go to the menu from the homepage and you click on earn, it's right there. That's where you can actually see all of the assets that crypto earn does offer. And they offer three different terms, a flexible holding term, a one month fixed term and a three month fixed term. And uh, once again, as stated earlier, you can enjoy a better annual rewards rate when you have crow locked up. So, uh, let me actually explain the tier system because this is this is the most important thing in my opinion and uh, the way it works basically is tier one you get your maximum rewards tier two your rewards are then reduced and tier three same thing happens so here's the tiered rewards structure so you will receive the full rewards rate for allocations less than or equal to us three thousand dollars the tier one quota will always be filled first so essentially, let's say that you stake $3,000 worth of Bitcoin over here, you are going to get that 5% yield on it. However, if you stake anything over $3,000 worth of Bitcoin, the next $27,000 worth of allocations will receive a 0.5x of the tier one rate, so effectively half. So this means that if you stake 30,000 worth of Bitcoin, let's just say, for example, to explain the tiered system, that first 3,000 in Bitcoin is going to get you those tier one rewards. And that next 27,000 is going to be getting you about two and a half percent in yield, as that is half of that 5% for tier one. And then for tier three, 
um, which is anything over 30,000. Any subsequent allocations will receive 0.3x of the tier 2 rate. So basically just a further reduction in your rewards. And uh, honestly, I mean, tier three does not seem super enticing to me. Even tier two, having your rewards cut in half really is not that amazing. If you do want to make the best of your rewards, you do want to be staking for that tier one. And once again, you can actually check all of the yield that is offered here right on the crypto.com website. However, I do think it's worth noting that in the past month alone, crypto.com has launched the rewards plus program. And um, this was back in early December, if I'm not mistaken. And then now they have buffed the crypto earn program in the new year. And what this signals to me, okay, we actually spoke about this a while back. If I if I find this visa buffs confirmed, uh, I tweet I, I shared this video. Okay, I think it was this one right here. Yeah, it actually was this one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play the video, but basically what the video was talking about um, was how the crypto.com CEO did a Q and A, and he basically said that the rewards they can offer through Crypto Earn or through the crypto.com Visa, um, these are actually kind of based on the trading fees they generate, which they roll back into these programs. So in the bear market, they did have to cut back on the rewards as the trading revenue was was greatly lower than it was in the bull run. However, now that trading volume has increased again, the CEO has kept his word so far by actually buffing both crypto earn and introducing the new crypto.com rewards plus program. Now, this program as well is a very big one in my opinion, especially if you are an owner of the crypto.com visa, which in my opinion is one of the best, if not the best crypto visa offered globally. Uh, and basically the way it works is based on certain things like your trading volume, as well as the amount of crow that you actually hold within the main app you're able to basically level up there and the level ups off uh, they do offer some pretty nice incentive including up to 0.5 percent in your earn plus as well as 0.5 percent for extra card rewards and i think that both of these go up to uh i know that the visa buffs end at about a uh, three percent max additional and then where is the trade so get up to 10 percent per annum on stable coins including the base earn rate of up to five percent so you can get an additional five percent on your earn yield through the rewards plus program so if you are a heavy user of the crypto.com app in terms of buying and selling maintaining a curl balance and you are making the most of the different programs they do have to offer they definitely are incentivizing people to not only use the app but to actually kind of stake with the app uh, or not stake with the app but just hold your assets and use it as your one-stop shop for crypto to really make the most of your assets that is definitely an interesting strategy that uh, I do hope helps pay off for them and we do see Crowcoin kind of at the center of that uh, you know, with the crypto earn program offering additional yield as well as the crypto.com visa here, which uh, basically does incentivize you to not only buy crow, but to keep it locked up to continue receiving these juicy benefits for the cards. Now, speaking of crow coin, I do want to actually wrap things up, kind of talking about this altcoin as we have unfortunately uh, seen a breakdown there from a key area of support at the 10 cent level. And uh, this is not only for Crowcoin. I mean, we've seen a lot of the altcoin market actually pull back. However, if we take a look at the altcoin market, the one thing here is that the altcoin market's backtest was actually bullish so far. It was here to this this major area of support, whereas Crowcoin has actually broken down below an area of support. And uh, if we actually go ahead and get the bull market support band back up here, the one thing that is worth noting is that it did actually backtest the bull market support band as support. And that is very important. Okay. If we actually zoom out here and take a look at Crowcoin, I mean, basically all throughout this bear market the bull market support band has been a key area of resistance we got rejected here in uh in february and april before we broke down got rejected here again in november once again in february of this year and once again in april of this year okay we did not break above the bull market support band until october and on that break above the bull market support band crowcoin saw a nice move to the upside where it basically almost doubled there right from about five cents all the way up to that 10 cent area it peaked at about 12 and a half and now it currently sits at the nine yeah basically just under nine cents as this video is being recorded and if we actually go to the one year 
Uh, the one thing that we were eyeing on Crowcoin was kind of like this the short term uptrending channel that it was in. However, we have actually now officially broken it down below that. So the one thing I'm looking for when it comes to Crowcoin is to really see if it can validate that 10 cent area as an as a level of support and get back above it. Okay, 10 cents is a very key area for this altcoin. And if you're wondering why, let me just zoom out here. Let me clean up uh, the bull market support band. And yeah, this, there's a reason I have this area kind of circled before I removed everything. Okay, back here in 2021, 10 cents was a strong area of support for Crowcoin before we actually saw it springboard up to those all time highs, which came in close to $1 USD. And then we actually also saw 10 cents act as an area of support here in the bear market. It did bounce off that area multiple times until finally it broke below. And ever since then, Crowcoin has had a difficult time getting back above it. So we can talk price targets all day long where you think Crowcoin will be in the in the future. But the one thing I'm looking for right now in the near term is to see if it can get above that 10 cent level. And uh, yeah, if not, unfortunately, we do have some downside here, potentially back even down to six and a half cents, give or take. So definitely keeping my eye on that and hoping to see Crowcoin form a nice weekly close above that 10 cent area. Obviously, uh, I mean, for the most part, it does move with the market, right? So if the market wants to move down, Crowcoin will most likely move down with it. However, if we do see the market move to the upside, maybe that spot ETF gets approved and Bitcoin takes off, all coins follow. That could be a good catalyst to break Crowcoin back above that key area of support. So on that note, I hope you did enjoy the content in today's video. You know what to do. If you made it all the way to the end, you are an absolute champion. Let me know in the YouTube comments down below and claim that champion status. I am wishing you all an amazing Sunday. I hope you all stay happy, safe, and healthy, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace out for now.